What's going on? Hope you're having a fantastic day, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Wherever you are. <laughs> Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and on today's video, we're gonna jump into this particular quote when Instagram loads it for me that it's not loading for me, but this one which was here. It's not in knowing all the answers, but trusting in yourself to be okay no matter what shows up. So again, going through the, the process of jumping into my Instagram and picking out some of my quotes that I've put in there and let's dive into them in a conversation on a video. So as I said, it's not about knowing all of the answers, but trusting in yourself to be okay no matter what shows up. This is one of the biggest things that I see showing up with my clients. It's self-acceptance, self-trust, self-confidence, self-love, all of the things are tied in together. And when you are trusting in yourself that everything is going to be okay, no matter what, you're granularly looking at all of the evidence in your life that says, I'm good at communication. I've got all of these skills. I provide value. I do all of this. Instead of looking at all of this evidence and justification that you've created over the years that says, I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. I can't do anything. All of this, this, and this, and buying into all of the social conditioning. So one of the things that I do with my clients is working through all of the social conditioning, understanding where it's coming from. Are they living their own life? Are they living the life of somebody else? How is that really showing up in their relationships, friends, family, intimate ones, relationship with self? And how is that impacting their confidence? And what is it that they deeply want to actually create? Because the thing that I find is if you don't trust yourself to be okay, you're not going to do anything in life. And I don't mean that just from a you know, big audacious creating a you know, massive organization that's going to change um, you know, lives for thousands. That's not necessarily what I'm just talking about. I'm just talking about even going for that career prospect, you know, having that conversation with a stranger or if you're single and in the dating space, we'll seeing a cute guy or cute girl and wanting to go over and have a conversation with them. You know, that's what I'm talking about here. So when you're not trusting in yourself, you have no confidence, you have no self-love, probably not accepting yourself either. And you're finding all of the reasons why you're not good enough. You're buying into those old stories that have been projected upon you by your parents, by social uh, circles, by all of the social media and everything like that that's going through that says you don't have the value. But yet one of the things, as I said, we work on really getting down to the bite-sized slithered moments that says it is evidence here that you have value, you have this, you have that. So when you can trust yourself, and one of the things that I talk about is the idea of communication. You know, it's a, it's a skill that we have that we don't look at as a skill. We just take it for granted. The ability to be able to communicate words out of your mouth and have those impact others in a way that is whichever way it may, may be perceived. For most, those words are being said unconsciously. And when you're saying it unconsciously, you're not getting any predictability out of the results. You're not knowing what words are going to be able to create what sort of response and reaction for that other person and being able to convey that in a particular way. So one of the things that I did many, many years ago was started to acknowledge the fact that I wasn't good at communicating. I was somebody who was socially awkward. And this is all coming back from my days in the engineering world where I used to stare at two computer screens drawing lines all day and not talking or communicating to anybody. So for me, it was never really something that I thought, I just knew that I didn't feel comfortable with it. So I started over time looking at all of the, the, well, looking into communication, and that's one of the things that I, that I teach and I coach on as well, healthy and um, effective communication structures, but more of a case of actually celebrating those little wins. Like when was it that you actually said no and that's what you wanted to say? creating those healthy boundaries. When was it that you actually spoke your truth or you did this and that was the reaction and the response that came out of it? When you can see that for yourself and you can actually start acknowledging for yourself that no matter what the situation shows up, I know that I have the ability to communicate and I have the ability to, to have a difficult conversation or to have an effective conversation so that we can resolve an outcome. So when you can develop that trust within yourself to be able to to create financial stability because you have skills in business, to be able to create impact in other people's lives because you're effective at communication skills, or whatever it might be, whatever the area of, of 
focus is for your life that you want to develop that trust in. When you can trust in yourself, it does not matter what shows up. It does not matter what the situation is because you know, no matter what is thrown your way, that you will be okay, that you will get through it. And that does not mean that you need to like it or accept it or rather like it, but you have to accept it or you do choose to accept it, but you can change it at the same time because in the next moment you can change and move forward with it. So when you deeply trust yourself, trust your ability to, to show up on time, trust your ability to communicate, trust the value that you bring, trust all of the things and skills that you've developed over the time and you actually really acknowledge and honor it for yourself, this is where you'll start to see a lot of shifts in your life, but it is difficult, I know. Why? Because when you're in the space of all of the reasons and the justification as to why you don't trust yourself, why you don't have value, why all of this, you're looking at that big picture and it's really, really hard to find that granular element in there. And that's why I created a particular exercise to really challenge those beliefs and pull out all of those little bits. So what is it that's going on for you right now? Where are you at on that path of trusting yourself? Do you trust your abilities? Do you trust your skills? Or are you judging yourself for it and having shame and guilt and blame all around it? Let me know in the comments. And if you got any value out of this video, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.